Hello, it's Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome. Uh, this is my latest series. It's called Riding with Smoke. And in these car videos, you will join me as I traverse the distance between home and work. Um, it's a little bit of a ride, a little bit of a schlup. And I said to myself, you know what? We're going to make this ride count. We're gonna get value out of it. And yes, I steep myself and listening to a variety of podcasts, uh, episode nearing episode 100 on the Ancient Rome podcast by Mike Duncan, which of course is a bellwether for podcasts. But I'd said we have to do something work related, and I said, why don't we shoot these car videos? They could be short, quick, pithy, and to the point, and um, get people rocking and rolling. And we will talk about outdoor kitchens. We'll talk about grills, and I may even delve into appliances again quickly. So let's get to it. Um, we're going to talk about something that is picking up uh, speed big time in the world of outdoor kitchens, and that is the inclusion of flat top grilling, right? And that's another word for saying an oversized griddle. Um, they are getting very popular as a built-in component with an outdoor kitchen. Now, the history of griddles in um, grills or outdoor kitchens is basically you get a griddle accessory, uh, which is usually about 14 to 15 inches wide. You'd pop it over your grates, or in some grills, <clears throat> you would remove the grate, and um, the grill would sit above the burner. And you can, by doing that, you could probably fry a few eggs, make a few burgers, all good, right? But it's limiting, okay? It's only 14 to 15 inches. And I just think as people have just increasingly focused on what they're doing in their yard and expanding, knowing that they're gonna be spending more time there, uh, even post COVID, it's just the way things are. Um, they wanna oversize everything. So um, several manufacturers have created flat tops that uh, could be used as standalones. And um, you know, you have Blaze, you have Coyote, um, you have, uh, I believe Lynx has one. I think that Asado grill that they sell is a flat top, DCS. Um, and then uh, they just, DCS just introduced one this year, and then you could kind of fake it with the Alfresco, you get the 24 inch power burner, and you get the teppanyaki griddle to put on top of it, but that's only 24 inches, it's, it's not 30 like these other ones are. So, as somebody who has griddled, okay, on my Alfresco as well as my DCS, I absolutely applaud the merits of griddling. I mean, it's fantastic. The only problem was in the past, the griddles just weren't big enough. They weren't wide enough. So now by going to a 30 inch, it opens up a myriad of possibilities. Um, what can you make with a griddle, okay? Listen, you could start off the day making breakfast out there, bacon, eggs, pancakes, all right? Shift over to some ethnic cuisine. We could do Mexican, we could do fajitas, peppers, onions, okay? Um, there's sausage. Um, I have people doing um, panini on there, pressing sandwiches on them. And then, of course, we get to hamburgers, which, um, listen, I, I've cooked enough hamburgers at this point. There simply is no substitute for making a hamburger on a griddle. It blows away making them on, on grates. And I've, I've tested this uh, you know, various times, and it's just an absolute winner. So I even have some people now that are coming in and they're telling me they don't want a grill, a traditional grill in the island. They just want the flat top. They would do a flat top and then they would do like say a power burner or something like that. Or they would do the flat top and then, then go undersize on the grill. Instead of doing like a 42 or a 36, they'll do a 30, a 29 or a 30 and just have that there uh, for, uh, for, for overflow. Uh, and, and other things. Just on a stop sign right now. Okay, we're good. So um, that's it. Now these griddles also can be used outside of the outdoor kitchen. You can put them on carts. Um, I don't want to call the Evo a griddle because it, it's it's a lot more than that. But it is flat top cooking. And if you ever spoke to somebody who um, has bought an Evo, they would tell you for the most part that it's the best thing that they have ever cooked on. And usually the Evo owners um, usually have a standard grill, usually have like a ceramic, like a, uh, you know, uh, an egg 
or Kamado Joe or whatever it is. And um, the uh, they will tell you, and I've spoken to multiple, multiple people across the country that the Evo is their favorite grill. So um, there is, there's a big, big audience out there, which growing, I should say, that's into flat top cooking. And I think the more manufacturers are taking a look at it and it's uh, proved, been proven by the fact that they're rolling out more product to, uh, to meet this, uh, this need with consumers. Um, I had spoke to a, a potential customer this weekend and he's, he, they're doing an outdoor uh, kitchen and he does not want to grill in the island. He absolutely does not want to grill. He want, he's gonna do his grilling on a flat top, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you that this is going to be uh, the standard moving forward, far from it, but I definitely think that it's gonna pick up more and more steam and whether it's folks getting this as a component or getting it as the main grill. Um, another advantage of it, uh, before we end this video, aside from the fact that the food tastes so damn good on it and you pretty much have more grilling space with them, is the cleanup. The cleanup's pretty easy, right? You don't have to vacuum ash out and stuff like that or you know, residue at the bottom of the firebox like you do with a normal gas grill. Um, with a griddle, you simply just need to let the thing rip hot and then scrape all the residue off to the front. There's usually just goes down to the drip tray and you're done, okay? And then spritz the thing with water and steam it off. Now, we know that it's never gonna look like it does in the showroom or when you first get it delivered to your house. They're gonna discolor. That's why most of them, all of them, have um, uh, a top uh, to cover them with. So if you can get by what the thing looks like, because it is gonna discolor over, you know, rather quickly, um, you just have to realize that, but it's gonna be much, much easier to clean than a normal grill, all right? So, that's it. I told you these videos are gonna be short and to the point. Any questions about flat top griddling, let me know. Questions at rofgrills.com.